Welcome back to the West Coast Pop. It's your boy, Knock. This is the Every Champion series. This time, the spotlight, the shine is on Lisa Marie, AKA Victoria, AKA Tara, AKA the OG HBIC, the queen. Victoria and all her championships and all her glory. Let's get into the video, starting now. First one on the list, we have our WWE Women's Championship victory in a hardcore match at Survivor Series 2002 against the diva at the time, Trish Stratus. This was a brutal match with trash cans, fire extinguishers, and she hit one heck of a suplex, call her the suplex machine. Through blood and broomsticks, she got the victory. What a win. Again, if you do it once, you gotta do it twice. And on Monday Night Raw in 2004, she went through three of the top women at the time, champion Molly Holly, Jazz, and Lita in a fatal four-way elimination match to claim her second women's championship. But it'd be more than a suplex this time to get the victory. She would bust out the widow's peak, and man, oh man, watch your neck when she comes for that move. Great win. Great match. Move over Jake the Snake and your snake because we have Terra and the Tarantula. And I'm not afraid of spiders, but I'd be intimidated too. And on a 2009 episode of Impact, she threatened Velvet Sky with a vicious spider, got her match against Angela Love, and hit her with the Widow's Peak for the victory. Terra was on fire and definitely check out her promo afterwards. Once again, if you do it once, you gotta do it twice. And at Final Resolution 2009, she defeated then champion ODB in one heck of a match and a start of their rivalry that would carry on into the next year. These two women have natural chemistry together, their styles mesh well, and this is a very powerful, hard hitting match. This came after she won a cage match against Awesome Kong on Impact. She literally jumps off the cage, man. And I gotta tell you, man, check out her promo after this match as well because she kills it on the mic after championship victories. She conquered WWE and now she's terrorizing TNA, winning match after match, dripping in gold. The legacy continues. And now with ODB, the back and forth rivalry continued. And at Genesis 2010, the next pay-per-view she regained the TNA Knockouts Championship for the third time, defeating ODB in a two out of three falls match, winning two straight falls. This wasn't a Survivor Series match, but she survived. ODB gave her everything she had, even tried to tap her out by a rear naked choke. This was a great match, and she went on to have her longest reign as champion during this time. So what's left to do in the wrestling industry? She got a big win at WrestleMania in WWE, but now she has a big win at TNA's biggest show, Big, big, big. Everything is big when it comes to the career of Tara. And at Bound for Glory 2010 in a four corners match with all members of the beautiful people, Madison Rain, Angelina Love, and Velvet Sky, then champion Angelina Love. But that wouldn't stop Tara from getting the win. Special guest referee Mickey James also made her debut. But shout out to Tara for getting her fourth championship victory to a displeased Madison Rain. If you want to talk about instant chemistry, that is the team of TNT, Tara and Brooke Tessmacher. They were meant to be together. A perfect pairing that culminated in a 2011 victory on the episode of Impact against Sarita and Rosita, AKA Zelina Vega. So when they finally lost the belts and Brooke went on to win her TNA Knockout Championship, that made the split also more intriguing and devastating as the mentor Tara turned on her protege Brooke and took her title at Bound for Glory 2012 with a devastating Widow's Peak. Great match from the two, and a really nice story that was built up over time. But the story only worked because of how good they were together and the chemistry they had built. Tara and Terrell was making her debut as a special guest referee once again for this Bound for Glory match, but shout out to Tara for her fifth win and her new longest championship reign. Now after TNA and WWE, she's won all the belts, singles and tag team, won on the biggest stages, WrestleMania and Bound for Glory. What else is there to do? Well, I'll tell you, Lisa Marie, Victoria Tara, 
she became the first ever inaugural more wrestling women's heavyweight champion, defeating Molina in 2019 and retiring in the process. All making her a nine time, nine time world women's champion. Damn sure Hall of Fame worthy. Came out on a badass bike, had great matches with everyone. The inspirational promo work after a championship victory, the tag team with TNT, awesome Kong match, Molly Holly match. It The list goes on and on. So if there are any other moments that resonated with you throughout her career, let us know in the comment section below. This has been West Coast Pop, the champion series focusing on Lisa Marie and her career. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. Peace out, y'all, and shout outs to the nine time world champion.